Everyone, I'm here in Bomber Canyon in Irvine, Newport Beach area. Now, this is a fun hike nestled in the middle of suburbia. And before this was suburbia, this was actually the center of John Irvine's cattle ranching operation. It was called Cattle Camp, and it ran from about 1870 to 1970. Cattle Camp sounds like something you'd send your kids to for the summer, but it was actually the center of the grazing operation. Cowboys, cattle, all of that fun stuff. And uh, it's also, after that, it became the a national natural landmark and it became California's first California natural landmark. And when they did the opening ceremony here, the governor at the time, Arnold Schwarzenegger, came and did a ceremonial hike. So if you do this hike, you can come and hike where uh, Conan the Barbarian or uh, the Terminator have hiked in the past. You can't say that about many places. Now, if you want to do the hike, I have a full guide on hikingguide.com and I have an option, a two mile option, which is pretty easy, good family friendly hike, and also a four and a half mile option that goes up a hill at the end of the Bomber Pass where you get nice views. Mount Baldy and the Angeles National Forest and the Santa Anas. So check the guide out if you want to do it. And as you're watching this, if you like the video, if you could do me a big favor and click the little thumbs up button, that will help other people find the video. It's easy enough for you to do and it helps me out a ton. So thank you in advance. And let me show you the turn by turn directions to get to this cool spot. Let's go. So the trail starts right behind the bathrooms in the building right there. It's kind of hidden, but once you come around, you'll see the start of the trail. There's some trail signs that say Bomber Canyon. There's a little area where the park was dedicated as a natural uh, landmark. And then right away, it's a nice, mellow, kind of winding hike up Bomber Canyon. In the distance, you'll be able to see the 73 Toll Road, which is going to be our final destination on the longer hike here. And this part of the hike is really mellow. It goes over um, a couple of little bridges. It's mainly flat and pretty easy to do. And as you go up, you'll be able to look up and see the trail sort of unwind ahead of you. Now, this was all the cattle grazing area when this was the cattle camp. So a uh, really neat area here. And when we get to this intersection, we're going to make the hard right. And you can see there's trail signs for the nature loop. We're gonna make the hard right and continue up here. Now this is all weeds and invasive spe species here. What they're trying to do is remove all of the invasive species and then plant it with native species. So that is in process right now, which is why it's fenced off. The trail kind of meanders around. It is a pretty gradual uphill, but you're probably not gonna feel it. But as you go up, you'll be able to turn around there and see the Santa Ana's and on a clear day, Angeles National Forest and Mount Baldy in the distance. So nice views, even though you're not moving a big, big climb here. Now at the end of the section, you'll see the trail. You might see some people hiking up there. There's a couple of little switchbacks and then a little bridge. And there's the 73, our final destination up ahead. We're gonna go down these switchbacks, cross the bridge, and then make the left there and continue on around up the Bomber Pass Trail. And when you go by here, there's a little nature area that's usually closed. There's some relics from the cattle camp here, some cattle loading platforms, whatever they are. And if you wanna do the two mile hike, you can just go straight back here, which will take you back to the Nature Loop Junction, or you can just retrace your steps back the way we went um, before. But to do the longer hike, we're going to cross the road and then go up Bomber Pass Trail. This is a little half mile trail that basically goes uphill. There's some little switchbacks, winds up, and you can see the trail up ahead of us. That's where we're ultimately going as we hike up here. But we're going to kind of go up and around on this. And it's, it's not a hard uphill. Um, and eventually you'll start going winding downhill here down back to that road that sort of intersects the park. Now when you come here to the East Fork Trail, we're gonna go past it. It's actually closed right now. They're restoring some of it when I shot this, but we're gonna go past that. And then right after that East Fork Junction, you'll come down to a T and you wanna make the left here onto the West Fork Trail. And again, you can see there's um, trail markers here. It's real easy to know where you're going in this park. And then we're going to go straight here on this wider trail for just a minute or two, and then we'll come to another intersection here. And over there is Turtle Ridge. We're not taking that. We're going to make the hard left and start the climb climb, um, which is a little bit steep, but if you're in decent shape, you should be able to do it. And as you go up, you'll get great views down there to Mount Baldy and Angeles National Forest once again. 
and the trail kind of winds up around to the right as well. And if you look across the little canyon there, you will see the Turtle Ridge Trailhead doing some switchbacks up the side of the hill. Now it's a steep, but uh, you know, doable. And at the end, you're gonna go through the gate here. And this is technically the end of the park, but we're gonna just continue up to the ridge line because it has nice views and there's a little park sign. We'll be coming back this way um, on the way back down. You're gonna go underneath the 73 toll road. It's not sketchy or anything. It's a big wide trail and it's pretty airy. And then the trail comes up and goes along um, Ridge Park Road, and you're going to get these really sweeping views from Santiago Peak, Saddleback Mountain, all the way to Mount Baldy. And then here we are at the end of the hike. Now this is um, the top of Crystal Cove Park, actually, and this is how the locals come and do Crystal Cove Park without all of the traffic or entry fees, and you can do that as well. But there's a cool trail board here and a neat little trailhead sign where you can take a picture and just hang out for as long as you want, turn around and go back the way you came. So that's it. That's the hike. Fun one. Definitely recommend it if you are in the area. And again, just go to hikingguy.com for all the details. After this, I'll show you what the hike looks like on a map, but otherwise I will see you guys out there. Bye. All right. So from the parking lot right here, we're gonna start the hike behind the bathroom, which is there. Now, the parking lot is small and there is overflow parking at the community park over here. I'll put the details of that in the guide with the addresses and all of that fun stuff. But we start the hike, you can see the hike meanders up along Bomber Canyon. If I angle up, you'll be able to see the high point of the canyon back in the distance there. There we go, that's a nice view. We cross the bridges right here. We have that intersection with the Nature Loop Trail. We're gonna make the hard right, and the trail continues over here. This is where I showed you the views of Mount Baldy, and if I switch this view around, look at that. You can see in the distance there, there's Saddleback, Baldy's back in the distance over there. So let's go back the way we were looking before. We come down here, here's the little switchbacks, there's the bridge. This is the area of the cattle camp where you can see the remnants. And if you're doing the shorter uh, two-mile hike, what you can do is you can either go back the way you came from the cattle camp, or you can walk right down along the road. There's actually a trail here, and then rejoin and come back in here. But otherwise, we're going to head into Bomber Pass Trail. We go up this hill over here. Again, it's a pretty small hill. Then we come back down. Here is, this is the closed off East Fork Trail over there. Here's the West Fork Trail. You can see we start our climb. This is that Turtle Ridge climb that I showed you earlier. But we do this climb up here all the way up until we get to the end of the park and Route 73, which is up here. Let me just pull back a little bit. We go under Route 73 and then up here to Ridge Park Road. This is also Coastal Peak. There we go. You can kind of see, there we go. Up until we get to the trailhead. And from here, we just go back down the way you came. And if I switch this around, you're gonna see the trail off in the distance there going back down. Now this is actually a pretty good trailhead as well. This is the top of Crystal Cove Park up here. And if you wanted to do a point to point trail, you could actually just go down here and go down to the Pacific Ocean, there's Catalina. Uh, and hike down there and then take an Uber back to your car if you wanted to. Um, or you could hike up here and park right over here and hike around if you'd like. And when you're at the end of the hike up here, if you want to go to the bathroom or whatever, there's bathrooms right over here, just a few minutes from the end of the hike up at the trailhead right here. And that's how you do it. Thank mm -hmm. you.